Ron Paul is said to have won the majority of delegates to Louisiana's state Republican convention over the weekend. He has also amassed a plurality in Iowa, Minnesota, Missouri, and Washington state. That would put the Texas congressman at the five state threshold needed to have his name entered in the presidential voting at the National Party Convention in Tampa. How you look at summer. it, it's nothing short of incredible what the Ron Paul campaign and especially his grassroots supporters have achieved despite the total media blackout on Ron Paul, despite the regurgitated meme that he can't win, won't win, despite all the disowning from inside the Republican Party, still activists are winning delegates on the local, state, and eventually the national level in many, many, many caucus states. And now they are clearly concerned about what's going to happen in Nevada. A very odd state for the Ron Paul vote since he didn't get even 1% more votes than he got in 2008, even though he grew in popularity all across the country, even though Nevada is known for its libertarian base, it was known for overwhelmingly supporting Ron Paul. He didn't get even one more of the popular votes there. Now they're trying to block, as they did previously, the delegate action in favor of Ron Paul there. And they are saying that the entire delegate base from Nevada may be blocked from attending the national convention. I believe it is highly likely that any committee with jurisdiction over the matter would find improper any challenge to the election, selection, allocation, or binding of delegates, thus jeopardizing the seating of Nevada's entire delegation of the national convention, said John R. Phillip Jr., the chief counsel for the RNC, in a letter obtained by the Las Vegas Sun, showing their intention to block the delegation in hopes that it would stop any kind of mass Ron Paul movement there. Meanwhile, the head of Ron Paul's campaign in Nevada, Carl Bunce, rebutted all this, saying the strategy is well within the rules. It's ridiculous. It's nothing more than a veiled threat, according to Bunce, who went on to say you can't come in seventh inning and say we're going to change the rules here. The Romney campaign advisor has come in and give you a loyalty test on who you support before you can go to bat. This is tyranny. If you can come in and change the rules whenever you want, that's not a republic. That's tyranny. Well, I got bad news for you, Bunt. The entire political party structure is part of the tyranny. We weren't supposed to have political parties in this country. They're not American. They work against our democratic traditions. They weaken our republic. We're not supposed to be loyal to these political parties. I think it's great what the Ron Paul delegates have achieved thus far in so many states. I hope they continue their efforts. They should not stop short of total chaos, of course, nonviolent, peaceful chaos. At the Republican convention, there's nothing to back with Mitt Romney. He's just an Obama light. He pushed for the same health care system. He also signed the anti uh, <coughs> excuse me he also signed the anti assault weapons bans things in Massachusetts and so many other platform positions. The Ron Paul people should voice their displeasure with the same old candidates, the same old tired false opponents inside this party system, and back Ron Paul all the way. Our country's going down the tubes anyway. At that point, I will bring you to our quote of the day. It's from Dwight D. Eisenhower, when from his inaugural speech in 1953, Americans, indeed, all freemen, remember that in the final choice, a soldier's pack is not so heavy a burden as a prisoner's chains. Dwight D. Eisenhower. It's not about agenda. It's not about mobilizing people. It's about dialing for corporate dollars. These two parties have sold the U.S. government and the American people to the highest bidders.